Yeah. Howdy, everybody. We're it's your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. Oh, looks like I get cramps out of here. Anyway, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, and we're down here at uh, One Post Street from Post Plaza here in downtown San Francisco, uh, getting ready to start the No Dakota Access Pipeline protest. Um, as you know, uh, there's been uh, attacks on the Standing Rock River Camp in North Dakota. Uh, the uh, governor of North Dakota, Jim Dalrymple, has called out the National Guard. So the situation is rapidly deteriorating for the protectors. So uh, we'll get started here in a couple of minutes. I'll keep talking. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. Uh, this protest is scheduled to start at 1 p.m. Uh, there will be a march. Um, unfortunately, I'm disabled and I won't be joining the march. But I'll try to cover as much of the rally as I can. Anyway, there's going to be a march after the rally, uh, which will be headed to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers at 1455 Market Street. That's about 10 blocks from here. We're downtown San Francisco here at One Post Plaza, out here uh, protesting in support of the Standing Rock protectors in North Dakota.
Uh, can you go ahead? Uh, he got through very quick there, sir. Oh, sir, he didn't get by you with the wheel. Sir, hello. Hello, right behind you. Oh, sorry. I'll watch so. Starting to get a small crowd of people here. I don't want to move. So for those of you just joining us, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, and we're down here in San Francisco for the No Dakota Access Pipeline protest. Uh, if you want to come down and join us, uh, we're at One Post Plaza. Uh, the march, uh, there will be a march after a few speakers. They'll be marching to the uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers at 1455 Market. So if you'd like to join up in the protest between now and then, you could do that as well. Uh, personally, I will not be going on the march. Uh, due to mobility issues. So unless somebody out there wants to take a collection up to get me uh, an electric scooter, uh, I can't go into marches. I've got too many, too many problems with my legs, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. But uh, we got a nice little crowd. It looks like 50, 60 people down here, uh, which is pretty good. And we got plenty of cops, uh, as you can see over there in the distance. They've been kind of cruising around. Uh, the situation in North Dakota um, currently is that the uh, Governor Jim Dalrymple has decided to call out the uh, National Guard at Standing Rock, um, which is a more deterioration of the situation. Uh, after uh, a couple days ago, when the protectors were attacked by dogs from a private security company, so the uh, situation, uh, you know, if you can uh, remember to call it to President Obama. Uh, here we go. We got the tax squad out here. Hi. As you know, Hello. we're really dangerous. How are you doing? Of course. And here we are. Uh, log on if you'd like to chat. I wouldn't mind hearing from you about the quality of the video. Uh, this looks like there's not going to be too many speakers. I I think what's going to happen is there's going to be a march. as good as I used to, but here we are, we're here. I'm not real sure if there's going to be speakers out here or not. It seems like a good place. There's a lot more traffic down here at this location than there is up at the uh, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. A nice lunchtime crowd of about 60 people, I guess, maybe 70. Uh, keeps growing uh, by increments here. 
And we're here standing in solidarity with the protectors at Standing Rock in North Dakota. Uh, hashtag uh, is no doppel, D-A-P-L. And just to let my viewers know, I won't be going on the march uh, because of mobility issues. I'm sorry about that. So hopefully they'll have some speakers here and we'll be able to get somebody else talking besides myself. Anyway, the gathering at Standing Rock is the largest gathering of natives in American history since uh, since the uh, uh, Little Bighorn, or no, yeah, yeah, Custer's Last Stand. There was actually the largest gathering of natives in, uh, in over, well over 100 years uh, to protest this pipeline. Uh, you know, this is just one pipeline out of many. Last year we were out fighting uh, Keystone XL. Uh, Spectra is also building a pipeline across the state of New York. Uh, these pipelines, they're uh, really becoming like the hydras. And like every time you cut the head off of one pipeline, there seems to be another that springs up. So personally, you know, I'm really glad that everybody's out here fighting against these pipelines. But in a way, uh, this is a battle I don't think we can win. Because every time we turn around for every pipeline that we find out about, and we try to stop. Uh, the capitalists have invested lots of money in lots of other pipelines. And uh, barring that, if they can't get their oil to the market through the pipeline, they're going to start using trains. And they'll use the trains, which is an even more hazardous and dangerous process to get the oil to market. Because you know these capitalists, they got to be out here making as much money and extracting as much out of the earth as possible and doing as much destruction as they can in the process because we all know that these pipelines are not foolproof and especially where this pipeline crosses the Missouri River uh, to Standing Rock Reservation uh, there's a good chance that if that pipeline leaks that's going to poison the water for all the people that live on that particular area so uh, it's really important that we get out there um, make sure you uh, you call your congressman uh, you call the president and you let them know about your displeasure with what's going on in North Dakota right now because the governor Jim Dalrymple actually has money invested in this pipeline project and today he asked uh, for the National Guard to come out and provide whatever they're going to do out there at the uh, gathering at Standing Rock so anyway I'm not gonna it's really loud here so I'm not gonna try and yell because I like to keep my voice Anyway, it doesn't look like there's going to be any speakers, so that was the update.
Hey, Tribe. So we got a gathering here at uh, the intersection of the Montgomery and Market for the No Dakota Access Pipeline protest. This is your live streamer, Free Van Sullivan. Not a whole lot going on right now. Uh, there will be a march that will be leaving uh, down Market Street here in maybe 10 to 15 minutes, I guess. Hey, thank you there, Susie Q. Yeah, Governor of North Dakota. You know that they uh, they just legalized weaponized drones in North Dakota today, too. Uh, that was a little thing that they snuck by the in the headlines. If I hadn't been checking my Twitter feed, I probably wouldn't even discover that before we came to the protest. So uh, I doubt if, the, if drones are going to be used at Standing Rock, but you never know. They've had a helicopter out there that circles the uh, reservation every day, all day. Uh, there's uh, there's plenty of cops out there that are trying to block the roads uh, up there so they can't get supplies in and out. Um, the governor of North Dakota has called out the National Guard. So that's how badly that they want to destroy this land and uh, get that oil out there. Get it out. Get it out. Right. I'm sure that uh, Wells Fargo building is right over here. I'm pretty sure that Wells Fargo has money invested in uh, this pipeline. Uh, we know that Diane Feinstein, her offices are in this building here. Uh, we know that she hasn't said anything about it yet, and uh, we all know where where she stands. Uh, pretty much, uh, these pipelines are going to keep popping up, and uh, they're like like they're like a hydra. And uh, every time you cut off one head, another head springs out, maybe two, and uh, until we deal with the real situation, which is the uh, end of capitalism, uh, we're going to keep having these pipelines to fight. So, you know, these battles are, are uh, continuous, and uh, until we address the real cause, which is capitalism, well, then uh, we're going to have to come out here and uh, keep protesting. So there you go. That's my two cents. But it is great. Uh, and we got so many people out of here uh, for this demo. I guess we got about a about a hundred people. We've taken over the corner. So. Really? And there's a few police, uh, but I doubt if they're going to harass us until uh, people try to go out in the street. I guess. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, thank you for joining us. For those uh, just here, this is a uh, protest against the North Dakota pipeline. And the hashtag has been posted by uh, Suzy Q. Thanks a lot.
stay here until the march gets started. Do you happen to have uh, any news about the latest developments today? I've been trying to find I called out the National Guard. That's what I heard. Is that true? Yeah. On what basis? Uh, they say it's a danger to law enforcement. I didn't hear that on democracy. That was just today, yeah. That was made yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So are they making, trying to, are they making them disperse? No. No, they just asked for the National Guard. That doesn't mean that they've been called out. Uh, we still have to get the approval of them first, whether they're going to come out or not. And, uh, you know, they've, they've had all so kinds of... who calls of out the National Guard? The governor of the state. The governor. Right. Dalrymple. Jim Dalrymple. He's got money invested in this thing. No conflict of interest there. No. They're standing ready. Is well, yeah, they have to. They have to call them up. Right, they're all right, they're all in civilians. It's civilian life. Something to do with the so-called Posse Comitatus Act, which is probably a dead letter now, I guess. Huh? Yeah, yeah, and they're uh, and they're on Native American land too. Even the property, the lady whose property. Where they had the uh, the confrontation, I guess the best way you could put it, the other day. Um, she's actually a native too, and they went over her land. Uh, they got eminent domain, so there was nothing that she could legally do to stop them from bulldozing her property. So there's all kinds of like sneaky bullshit that's been going on. In this um, there was a court decision, a partial court decision that was handed down uh, the other day about this. Uh, governing that if it's federal land and the federal government has anything to do with it, then construction has to stop. And then on private property, the court ruling is going to come up tomorrow at approximately 5 p.m. from uh, the district court in the uh, District of Columbia. And so that so the the pipeline is a half mile from the from the reservation. Is that yeah, from the by reservation. And the, the river and, and these sacred sites that they bulldozed, that was off the reservation? Right, that was private property. So that's how they get you. They call out for eminent domainers. I guess uh, we're going to circle up here.
like spread like wildfire, not, over, not only throughout the country, but all over the world. Uh, we have over 80 actions like this on a map uh, around the country, the UK and Australia, places like that. People are taking action, uh, telling President Obama to act on this, putting pressure on corporations, the oil companies that are responsible for building the pipeline, the banks that are funding it, the security firms, which viciously attacked people last weekend. And we're gonna, we're out here, we're not gonna do too much talking. We're, gonna, we're out here to take some action as far as take some direct action. So we're hoping that all of y'all will work with us and come to the point and uh, enjoy the uh, activities we have planned for the uh, a little bit. This is uh, William Lunchbaggage. He's a Lakota activist from Santa Cruz. Uh, but I'm going to uh, let him talk. So. people talking around. We really need a megaphone for people's mic.
good. Exactly. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I need a volunteer to yeah. take this down. Yeah. Anybody who wants to right here? Yeah, I'm not going to be going on the march. Hey. Agreed. So Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. So we're gonna lead the way with these two banners, right? We're gonna step off into the lane and we're gonna move up that way and then take a right on Kearney. We want you to follow us. Not too. Yeah. All right. All right. Can you hear me? All right. Be going on the march, folks. Sorry, uh, but it will be continuing down to 1455 Market. Uh, I'm not sure of the route. That's a good crowd. I guess it was about 100 to 150 people. I'm not going to be going with the march, folks. All the good things. So there you go. Uh, march in solidarity with the No Dakota Act Pipeline Access, No DAPL. Uh, this has been your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. Uh, everybody have a great